back with another quick math hey, wait game. Up, man. I I got a man. Like I. Hey. Uh, hey guys. Hello. Can anyone hear me? They can't hear you. It's it's a video. I'm Why making not? a video for them right now. Oh. No, Can I it's help? not live. Can I help? You want to be? Yeah. I want to help. What? Okay. It looks like my brother's gonna help me out after all. Yeah. Today I'm gonna teach you a game called. Reach for the stars. Yeah, reach for the stars. In this game, the goal is to reach for the stars. Your goal is to earn a star. And then the way I play, I usually start with three stars. Now, you can make your stars out of paper, construction paper, cardboard, or t-shirts. No, not that. But there's a lot of household things that you can make your star stars out of. Once you have your stars, the next thing you need is something to write with and something to write on. To get each star, you need to add up two digit numbers and get past a thousand. Once you do that, you collect a star. Don't get it. Well, let's go to the clip. Here is a write up of the game if you want some more information. I will also put this write up at the end of the video. So if you want to pause the video at any time to read up on the rules, there you go. All right, we're gonna teach you how to play Reach for the Stars. Okay, make sure that you have your dice, something to write with, and something to write on. You ready? Ready. All right, let's go. So first thing you gotta do is figure out who goes first. Let's rock, paper, scissors for it. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, go. Yes. Okay, I go first. I roll my two dice and I create a two digit number. So I got a five and a two. What's it gonna be? So I can either make 52 or 25. Remember the goal is to get to a thousand, so what do you think I'm gonna make? 52. All right, let's throw that on there. 52. Okay, your turn. Three and a four, 34. Okay, good start, good start. Okay, now I'm gonna roll again. Now, in this game, if you roll doubles, you get to roll a second time. So if I roll two sixes, or two fives, or two threes, I get to add another number onto my growing total. So, let's cross my fingers, hopefully I can get it. Oh, not this time. 20, I got two and a six. Better so luck I'm gonna next make time. 62. So now I can add my numbers up. 52 plus 62. Two plus two is four. Five plus six is 11. So my new number that I'm going with is 114. My turn. Okay. Let's see you go. 63. Good try, good try. It's a close game. All right, I want to get to 1,000 first. That way, one of the stars is mine. First one to 1,000 gets a star, and then we start over. Whoever has the most stars at the end wins the game. Okay, let's roll. <gasps> I got two sixes. Yes. That means I rolled doubles, so. I put up my 66. Oh, that's not fair. But since I rolled doubles, I get to roll again. Come on, man. It's the rules of the game, man. Uh -huh. So a six and a three. So I'll make 63. Let's put that in there. Now this is gonna be a little more math, but for some extra points, that's okay. 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 3 is 13. Come on, come on. Carry the 1, I mean the 10. 6 plus 6 is 12, 13, 14. All right, new total, 243. It's on. OK, your turn, man. Ooh, snake eyes. Well, in this game, if you happen to roll any double besides two ones, you get to roll again. But if you roll snake eyes, which is 
two wands, and they kind of look like a snake. Um, it's over. Um, you don't get any points for that round. Just like that. In that game, I was able to win all three stars. Ooh. Looks like someone needs to work on their addition skills. I know. We'll work on that later. All right, get your supplies, grab a partner, and go play. Good luck.